Hello everyone, welcome back to Doom. I was on the pause screen because I was affecting my microphone, which I may actually forget to cut out, so you'll know that if you saw it. Um, oh, are we lagging again? So, what is this about Windows, right? I The other day... Ooh, oh yeah, I remember that. The other day... Have I got my chain gun? Yes. But no ammo for it. Interesting. Um, it decided that it had had enough of me not restarting it for an update. So I restarted it for an update. And when I came back from the restart for the update, ow, it had decided that the way it was going to treat me was to assume that I'm imbecile and forget every single thing that I'd ever set up. Basically, it asked me all the questions all over again. Do I want to participate in Microsoft this? Do I want Cortana that? Etc. Etc. No, no, no. Don't want any of this. I've had this installation for quite a long time now. Don't need to ask me these questions. It is not at all necessary for you to be asking me about the thing that you already know full well about. So it's entirely possible that Windows has completely reset my please stop lagging all the downtime preferences. But I mean, the point of that particular little um, aside there was mostly to point out that I have recently restarted the computer. Um, so it's not it's not doing very well. I have tried this. Um, my brother told me about Doom has a, an alternative API for rendering graphics, which they call the Vulcan API. It's apparently written by id. <laughs> to put a grenade inside that thing and let it explode. That's pretty okay with my in my book. Uh, Twenty one shots is not enough. I will use the assault rifle. No, I don't want to use the assault rifle. I just want to make sure. Right, that's the invulnerability. Yeah. Um, Vulcan API apparently has a much greater performance benefit than simply OpenGL, which is what I'm using right now. Unfortunately, OBS can't see it. So, <laughs> I didn't even get the opportunity to stomp on that mofo. Okay, another one. Interesting. So, I've actually got a little bit more chain gun ammo just by the fact that the chain gun's still there. It's also wasting all my invulnerability, but that's okay. I'll let you off. Uh, yeah, unfortunately OBS can't see it, but he reckons that the performance benefit I will get from using the Vulkan API is going to be negligible compared to the fact that I'm using OBS in the first place, and I'm using OBS because it's open source, and we should be supporting open source everything where we possibly can. This is exactly why God made chain guns. I don't really feel like I'm hitting that thing. Can I press F? Not quite. Just in time. Just in time. I'm trying to um, glory kill most of these things because I need my ammo back. I wonder what that means. So up here, last time I tried to extract information from this joker and that's what killed me. But like, apparently I haven't, um, haven't got to do that again. I'm on fire. Much like Kings of Leon? Kings of Snow Patrol? Who did that? I may have probably had this exact conversation with all of y'all before. Uh, I don't really think it's going to be safe for me to try and glory kill that joker. So I'm not going to try. Wouldn't mind those though. Let's get there. Cool, cool. Uh, something shootable? Pistol, pistol. There we go. Yeah. Not that it helped at all. One job. We should check the map occasionally when we're not going to die because we want to check for any. We've got that predator suit there. There is that armor which I saw from yonder, and it's going to be something cool on the other side of that door once we've got it open, which is our goal. Uh, but I, th I guess we have to go up there first. Kind of hard to tell. Let's um, not use our pistol in this somewhat hostile environment. What was I talking about? Windows, prayer to suits, internet memes, uh, you know, current events. Let's get over here. See if we can get to that armor, which we can quite happily and easily. Good job. 40 is not much armor. Hoping for more. Can't reach that. Can reach that. <laughs> um, this is not where humans are supposed to be. Can climb up. Fine. Um, heard noise? Still not used the pistol, despite the fact that I did go on a little bit about how I've been upgrading it. Um, I nearly had to use it, I guess, because low ammo in certain harrowing, harrowing hair-raising situations. What even is this game? It just didn't do a second jump. Can't we apparently reloaded from checkpoints. 
A cup of tea makes everything better. Uh, apparently, we're doing <laughs> jump challenges again. Like it's 1999. What is this Unreal Tournament? There we go. I have got points and token. Oh, that's a lot of points actually. We should upgrade. That might be good. I'm not really doing it that much with multiple enemies around. Uh, light, wait, move faster. Experimental heavy damage rounds. That might be good. Just worth unlocking, maybe. Uh, yes, I will buy that. Chase. Kill 30 stunned demons. Right, so now we start using our plasma cannon, which is... Uh, down there. We've got a certain amount of ammo for it. It's not... Uh, it's not a negligible amount, that's for sure. We can get here, we can get up here. So we're going to try and jump across there and not fail at a jumping puzzle. Uh, even though this is not Mario... <laughs> This is definitely not the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, I can go and get that again. Oh, right. we reloaded from before I completely failed to jump across a gap. Which is a thing that we shouldn't have to do. Nothing to talk about because this is dull. I feel like I'm running slowly. James was telling me, James of uh, Hollow Knight fame, was telling me that this Doom... Have I mentioned this? Maybe. I feel like I didn't know before, so I'm going to say it anyway. Um, that this Doom is both a sequel to and a remake of the original Doom, in as much as um, he reckons. Excuse me, while I get the crap out of that. Uh, he reckons that the person we're currently playing as is the same person that we originally played as. Uh, a few weeks ago. <laughs> you know how it is. Um, the idea is, apparently, this chap has been in hell all this time fighting for humanity and what it's worth. Don't have it. Why am I... I'm getting distracted by the noises it's making. The, the laggy audio, which is weird. Um, he's been in hell all this time, apparently. Which has... Ooh, Haste. That's what we like to see. I would like to play this online, actually, as a multiplayer, as a deathmatch. That's the word we're looking for. Um, he's been in hell, and he's been doing all this for us. Keeping, like, holding the fort. Not holding down the fort, Americans. All this time. And then humanity in the background has gone around again, made the very same mistakes over and over again. Oh, I actually shot that too many times, as if such a thing were possible. Hello. What's happening over there? I'll take that, but I'm not happy with its location. Um, the parents have gone around again, made the same mistakes again, rediscovered the entrance to hell, and then this chap, who has been in hell all this time, comes back out again and has to save the day again. Which is very nice of him. And it's very good of him to have managed to fight through hell all this time and then give me control of his pathetic little corpus in order to completely ruin the day for everybody else. Because obviously he's been fighting in hell since, you know, the, the last iteration of humanity existed in this universe. And now here's me taking over him, the same iteration of humanity. All of a sudden this guy's forgotten how to fight. He can't successfully jump over gaps or beat up a mancubus, which is should be at home with, you know, if I just let him play this game, if I just let him deal with this problem, you know, we'd, we'd all be a winner. He's been fighting through hell all this time, and he's a conduit for Argent Energy, which is, you know, hell's entire life existence being. What is that? Do you reckon I can fall off here without dying? I expect so. Oh, it's just a zappy thing. Cool beans. Uh, okay, let's um, let's have a look at this map. We did have a look earlier to see if there was something we wanted, and there was a couple of things, so we want to make sure that we get them before we move on. So we want to go down the ramp. I think that's pretty cool. Obviously, it's semi-faithful to, uh, to the early game, but a complete remake, very updated. But the fact that there's a small amount of lore that both does and does not allow this to be a, <laughs> an actual sequel as well as a successor is 
interesting. And it's like they shoehorned more story into the game, even though Bethesda don't really care. Um, we've updated the auto map, which means we probably have information about secrets and stuff. I think I want to find that chap. And that's where we're going anyway, so that should be easy enough. Okay, and I'm going to use that teleporter. Where was that teleport? Can't... Environments. This is the Kadingir Sanctum. Here you go, you can read this. We do have a few extra things to read, actually. Let's um, scroll through this while I witter on in the background. Feel free to pause it. I'm never going to read this. I clicked on the credits before and it said... This is a spoiler. <laughs> Don't read it. Well, okay. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert in your own credits. Genius. Ah, tea. I really liked the chain gun from Quake 2. The reason I like the chain gun from Quake 2 is that it didn't actually start firing until it sped up. I think that was really cool. Slayer's Testament. In the first age, in the first battle, in the shadows, first lengthened one stood. Is that the guy? That's the thing that spoke to us a while ago. I'm not entirely necessarily hugely interested in that. What is this though? Some sort of arena? Are we going to end up fighting for our lives? It looks like a um, rune, actually, so it's probably a rune challenge. Stock up on what we've got. Okay. No. Ah, yes, it's that chap again. I believe this is the story that I just spoiled for you. Uh, although I wouldn't have figured it out based on what this guy's wittering on about. Uh, it seems to be him telling us about said original Doom Marine, which we are. So, uh, artifacts. What did we just learn about? Ah, oh, that's that's a set. Okay, 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 okay. We just heard that. Uh, we learned about the Can Kadinga Sanctum. We read that. What did we just pick up from that then? I don't know. Let's go in here and get that Praetor suit. Which is no doubt a trap. Yoink. Baller. Can we upgrade this usefully? Uh, next upgrade three. That's fully upgraded. What have we got here? Increased total number of equipment charges. We've already got a, uh, an upgrade on the recharge. Duration. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. My mistake. Uh, no. Where is the thing? That. Um, power up effectiveness. When actually health will be filled to maximum. I mean, that doesn't. I keep pressing tab to get rid of that because I've been playing Fallout. Switch weapons faster. Not really an issue. Grab ledges faster. Not been an issue. Don't really consider those issues. So this one we can get explosive barrels. We can decrease weapon self damage already, which is nice to know actually. So I've got that. Let's go for our equipment. Um, I'm guessing this means now we have three. We have one. Okay. Is it charging up a second one, maybe? That looks like a jump pad. That looks like where we just were. That looks like dribbly blood. Cool. Guess we just step on it. Whoop. That was gentle. Kind of expect a little bit more buffeting around in hell, don't you? So I think um, what we've just been learning from those people who won't stop talking is what we already knew about the the, the chap who stayed behind. Quick lock, fast recovery. I've got no Let's see if we can upgrade our chain gun, Gatling rotator. You can spin up the chain gun barrels without firing. I'm not sure I care about it being... Transform the weapon barrels into a mobile turret. I don't care about that. Let's get this Gatling rotator sorted out. That seems like exactly what we want. We spin up the chain, chain gun. And now we can fire it. Means we don't have to waste some shots that are slow and inaccurate. Waiting for it to... Uh, 
Doom Marine. Here we go. Without doubt, the UAC is most remarkable. It's interesting that they called it the UAC. Again. If we're supposed to have gone through the whole of... <laughs> That is uh, an upgraded picture from the very first Doom that we saw not very long ago. Uh, several kilometers through his impossible tomb. Sealed tomb. Many artifacts, including the prayer suit. No, enormous sarcophagus bound to the center bed of the tomb. Thick iron bands. What a rare but later. The body of a man. He appeared to be only sleeping. DM15. That seems like the number of acts we had in the original Doom. This is like a, a map designation from the original Doom. Project personnel assumed dubbed him the Doom Marine, which we were called. All well, history of conjecture. Shed some light on his identity. After in, in the book of Deva, depicts the Doom Marine wearing a prey to engage the demons in battle as a hooded figure looks on. I wonder what that is. Is that us? Maybe in the other way. God demo human. Demon the mystery of its origin. So this is t turning to us. Talking about me, the, the player, the, the ca player character, I should say. Scarfus was stirred and first opened at the Lazarus Labs. We're missing a few years later. Right, so we woke up after what's her name? Who is not called Sam. Uh woke us up basically. And I'm not quite sure why all these Hellspawn are here, because of course we didn't actually open the Hell Portal itself until we jumped through it. Well, we'll go this way. I guess we just follow it around. Don't know why I'm making such a pig's ear of going down the staircase. That's a quite a hard staircase to descend whilst you're jumping. Oh, here we go. What is that unit? Every now and then we just get told stuff in hologram form, but what is projecting that? <laughs> is it in my suit? Is... Have we been there? Yes, that's where we came in. That was where I kept falling. Okie dokie. So that was the place I thought we were going to go to. Let's double check the map. We have missed a couple of things. Um... Except we haven't because we've got to go that way now. Alrighty then. We should check our ammunition. Not much of anything. I'm going to keep my plasma rifle because... Oh, apparently switching weapon opens this door. Uh, we want to kill stunned monsters, basically. So that means we have to stun monsters and then kill them. Baddies? Hello? It's combat music, but I ain't got no combat yet. This does not look fun. Why are you attacking you? Apparently you're on my side, so that's okay. Did I get all my direct hits with the uh, imps, by the way? I hear noises down here. Noises off. I think I did, because I just cheesed it by dying a lot, right? Yikes. What are you meant to be? Apart from big and scary and ouchy. Chain gun, lots of ammo. Spin it up. Do with the quad damage right now. I wasn't very good at you, was it? Oh, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Haha, <laughs> beat up with his own massive horn. Genius. That was a Baron of Hell. I, I'm okay with it. Somewhat larger than the Hell Knight was, but at the same time. Uh, still of little consequence. That hurt. Little, actually. I was expecting that to hurt a lot more than it did. I need to um, remember that I have multiple charges on my device now. I'm down here and I didn't mean to be. However, I suspect it's not a bad thing. Kill it. I wonder how many different ways there are of killing each thing uh, in, in glory kill mode. Because... I feel like I'm doing the same one over and over again, because usually they're facing me when I manage to kill them. Um, chain gun, spin it up. I'm holding my breath, so I can't speak. Ooh, careful. 
plasma. Oh, I got it! Yes! While stunned as well, which is fairly okay in my book, because I needed to do that. So that's 2 of 30. <laughs> Good start. Um, they're slightly harder to actually achieve than the exploding and imp in the face game. So we can't really scum it up too easily with um, literally just, you know, doing it. Were these called Lost Souls in the original game? I think they might have been. I just called them Screaming Skulls, you know. Let's use rocket launchers. This was super effective on these, actually, last time. You just explode it in the air. Not so effective in the uh, originals. Okay. Pretty sure I dodged that. I'm also, I'm just trying to point out, trying to dodge like this is Unreal Tournament. I know I confuse it with Unreal Tournament. Because of the jumping puzzle, but I, it's kind of a joke. So, brain. Desist. I can't turn fast enough while doing this. Ow. Um, plasma rifle, I guess. Wish we had some sort of health bar. That would be arcadey. And then I'd know when to stun it and thus kill it. <laughs> Wouldn't mind trying to get my... Uh, can I chainsaw this thing? No. Although I do have suddenly five fuel for my chainsaw. I don't know where I got that. Oh, that was close. There you go. Rune upgrade equipment power two. What uh, weapons do I have? I've got a option. Do that. Ow. Ah, crap. Damn it. it kind of fell off the edge. I mean, I'm sure it happens to the best of us. You know, you lot do that all the time, right? Just walk off the edge of platforms. And then lose the thing that was trying to murder you in the face. Uh, yeah. All in a day's work when you're this doom marine. It died anyway. I'm okay with that. Not in the most fascinating of fashions. It didn't give me too much ammo back because it managed to... It managed to... What's the name of it? Oh! Interesting. That looks like quad damage. So I'm just going to not take that for now. It would have been good a while ago. Let's take it. Boom. Quad damage. Right. How are we doing on our um, challenges for this round, by the way? It was a... It's a little bit underwhelming killing basic enemies with quad damage, unfortunately. It makes the same noise when it's running out as well. That's nice. Although it kind of blends into all the other noises that are happening. So I kind of didn't notice for a while. Aha! I can see you. Don't pretend you're not there. Uh, rocket launcher. This rocket launcher is actually a lot more useful than you might give it credit for. Especially with the detonate function. It's almost like the redeemer. Unfortunately, these things are not falling off the edge like they could be. The infighting here is clearly scripted. I grant you that. Um, but at least it's not me. That was that was okay. Didn't really notice that those uh, rockets were twirling until I had the time to watch one. The other thing about this version of this game is that it's so easy to just not notice stuff. These are uh, hell fireflies going past are also making me think something's shooting at me when it is not. So I don't know whether I should be detonating it or not, but detonating it or not, basically. Um, because it's hard to judge the distance and, like, could it not just hit? Would that not work too? I guess I'm going to have to go through here then. Let's check our map, double check we've picked everything up. Yeah, so just behind us in there, I guess, is a... Yep, okay. And the prayer tool suit. We have to go over there. There's that little chibi, which I didn't get. Which is going to be up that way, I think. So when we get through that door, we should remember about the little chibi dude. Um, the original marine. Which we are. So it's a picture of us. That's interesting. Lots of zappy. Um... Try and grab on an edge without <laughs> failing at another jumping puzzle on camera. How long is this episode? It's only 26 minutes. Okay. 
tend to uh, just play. I'm going well. Can't really complain about the fact that I've now got a 26 minute video, but. Does it help to detonate it? I think it might do on account of how if I miss, I can still actually do some damage. Also, I suspect I should not glory kill them in the air. But you can convince me otherwise. Yep. <laughs> you can't. He just didn't. He just went, no, going to hit you with my uh, boomstick. Didn't happen. Think you missed an item or upgrade. You can replay mission. So, I want you to replay a mission, but I don't know what happens if I collect it. Um, do I return to this mission? Like, do I keep my progress, basically? Or progress? That was not a good time. Right, now we pick up this HP. Give me that. Yoink. Then we go back, grab the quad damage, get our chain gun out. We've only got 26 shots. We'll use this then. Everything's got low ammo. I don't know what to do about it. We've really exhausted the ammo caches. We need to be glory killing everything we can find at this stage of the game, to be quite honest with you. Let's get up here, see if we can scavenge a bit more. And then we will run past our quad damage. Try and make it down the way ASAP. We can go in here. Do we come out of here? This must be just a monster closet but upgraded for the 21st century. 21st century monster closet. Thanks to Rorax for that uh, particular terminology, by the way. See me use it a lot in the uh, Hexen videos. Not so much in the Doom videos because the monster closets in those were often just monster teleport zones, but they did do them. This random door that opens with a very difficult to explain situation. Well, that went well. Let's, um, let's just do this. It took me so long to get here that my quad damage had run out. That is possibly intense. Hello. Intentional. Where did the Mancubus go? You're supposed to be infighting with the Mancubus. Maybe they did that whilst I was bumming around up there. Got that. Was the one dead? Everybody dead, Dave. Yes, Dave. Everybody's dead, Dave. Everybody is dead, Dave. You know what you should do when you're failing miserably at every single jump puzzle? Just try another one just to get 40% armor. They just teleported in, like... Like, like it's okay. Not quite sure how to know whether this is on target. I'm just going to quickly check whether... Oh, I've got uh, I think I've three. Um, the rocket launcher, the remote detonation, generates a larger rocket explosion. Deems that hit by a remote detonation will appear to addition and continue to take damage for a short time. So this will do a larger explosion, but currently it doesn't. But we do have shrapnel involved. The alternative is we don't know because I didn't check at the last field mod, at the last field drone, what the other mod available for the rocket launcher was, um, which I probably should have done. It's a bit ruinous around here, isn't it? I mean, you think hell would have some sort of caretaker to, to upkeep it? Why am I not able to? I took it off. I took the mud off, even though I didn't know I had the mud on. <laughs> Eek. I want to use something else. Because I want to do this. Don't want to overkill it. Because I need the stuff that comes out of it when I goopify it. There we go. Um, I see this. I've got four. I think then Barons of Hell need five, which is what it was telling me. So, I can't do it. The Mancubus. Information about the Mancubus. Jen's pointing at my phone. Your tea. Would you like more tea? More tea, tea Vicar. Yes, please, dear. How can I record without more tea? Uh, we learned about the Baron of Hell. It's the highest demon among the Order of the Hell Knights. They believe hell. Never been captured. 
However, we know we can pull their horn off and beat them over the head with it. And they seem to not like that too much. Dachshund. Uh, we also learned about the Mancubus. We've got a second entry on them. Taken and turned into a weapons room. Showing chitinous growth begins to form a big town, creating a hard shell barrel. Gross. So in um, in real Doom, they just had rocket launchers strapped to their arms. A yeah, real Doom, original Doom, I should say. Oh, did you make the mistake of trying to use a Windows computer? <laughs> Didn't like that. This third party modification allows the crucible. This modification is unapproved by the USC. Overrides the crucible release safety, allowing the weapon to fire immediately without waiting for maximum rotation. But we have the opposite. That's how it started. And yet, now I've installed that. Whatever. We have got an exclamation mark up here because we are using... The th so this increases effectiveness. So we just need to keep using that and we'll end up with that. And this, 25 death from above glory kills. We need to do that. We're not really staggering them anymore um, because we can stun them. We have three of these. What's this I'm looking at? I've still got to get 20 direct hits on him, so I haven't actually finished that. And we want to get something new on here. Improved torque significantly increases the spin up speed of the Gatling rotator. Well, it's penetrate. It's not that interesting. Um, I'm not sure whether that's a good idea or not. I think I'm going to save up for, the, for that one there. The uh, actually useful explosive warhead. Let me just press that. Let's press that. There we go. Might as well use the chain gun. Might as well use the um, shotgun, actually. Get some more imps under our belt. And then finally improve the mastery of this. You're not an imp. Get out of my face. Try and ammo, ammo up with glory kills on these weak ones while we still can, so we don't have to try and glory kill something difficult like a Mancubus or Baron of Hell. And then we will not go that way because it looks like the correct way to go and instead go what looks like the wrong way to ooh, wrong way to go. And here's something mumbling at me. This is near where the chibi thing is, right? No? Mildly confused. Did we miss that? No, that's the way back. Right, right, right. And then we go up there and then there's the dude, which is up there. There, right, right, right. Okay, cool. So, there's a codex entry, and that's about it. Oh, well, it's been nearly 10 minutes since I last checked how long this episode has been. Um, well, since there's nothing happening, I think we'll leave it there. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope that you'll join me for the next one, and I hope that you'll check out other videos on the channel too. But until next time, I'll see you.